call the meeting to order. So all the finance committee meeting um, on 618 at 530. So um, <clears throat> we have all of us have what David sent us um, for. So what we have here is Article 8, Article 9, and Article 14 to do. Now, Article 14 um, let me just skip a little bit because we're really not going to do much on Article 14. What well, Article 14 is 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 mainly changing town um, is, is uh, changing the election to make it after town meeting. Well, we decided to pass on that this this time. I asked um, what had happened um, is that part of the purpose of why um, originally had asked to put Article 14 even on was because we were looking to save money. Well, after speaking with the town clerk, I found out the way this is written, it's not going to save the town any money uh -huh. because it, the way it is written, it only allows for one week after town meeting. That is not enough time for the town clerk to put anything on a ballot. So if the whatever happened at town meeting uh, say we needed debt exclusions, we would have to have the election a week after and then another election for ballots. That sounds even worse than having one before and after. The whole purpose is, is to uh, cut down on elections because it cuts down on money. Not just does it cut down on money, I think it's a good thing because you have more people voting and you have more people people's input on, you know, um, if everyone's coming for an election, they can also be put, their input could be put in regarding these, um, uh, you know, debt exclusions or whatever other reason why uh, uh, something's on the ballot. So anyways, I said, oh, it, it, since this is not what, it's not helping the clerk at all. I said, you know, let's, we need to talk about this a little more. I talked to David Phil and I said, this is something, there are different possibilities we can do but, um, and it still is important, but I think it needs to be discussed some more with the select board um, and not just pushed along. So um, it was uh, suggested that we just move it uh, to fall, not to rush it since it's not gonna take place right away and push it off to fall town meeting. So um, 14 is there, but I, I probably would say I can, I can do that one and go up on town meeting and state why it's there and that we weren't ready and that we're going to pass on it. So um, that would be fine. So that's number 14. Now, number eight and number nine is the regular ones that we normally always do. That's the one where we have to, that's ominous budget that we re read off all the line items. And number nine is just the, is just the water sewer and had the media, this is the reserves. So um, how do we, how would you like to, anybody have any thoughts on that? What you wanna do or you wanna just split it up? We've done that in the past, just split it up. We'll do a few line items, everybody just does a few line items. I don't, I can, I can start it off and, and give a few words uh, to begin with. Um, and, you know, and then we can split it up that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, is there any preference? No? No. Does anybody want to volunteer to do, we'll split up article, I'm thinking we split up article eight, uh, article eight, because that's really everything. That's the one that's large with everything on it. And then well, if someone wants to take on just article nine, which is the reserves, that's the water, the sewer, and the uh, Adley Media. Any Can takers? you fully explain, Amy? How we're we gonna get up? We're going to talk. We're just reading it off word for word. Like I don't really understand what we're agreeing. Sure. With. So I'll I'll go up and I'll say when I go up there I'll say okay town moderator I'll say um, expense one hundred dollars select board salaries uh, other salaries forty nine thousand. $49,180. Expenses, $22,150 for a total of $71,330. Town administrator, salary, 
and then I read the salary expenses for a total of one hundred and thirty thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars. You have to, my understanding is David said we have to read them all. We tried to do that one time, and David said that we gave him the you know the uh, key to the candy store. So we don't want to do that again. <laughs> so I guess uh, we have to read them all. I think it's kind of silly sometimes because they have all these numbers in front of them. They everybody in the town meeting is given the whole folder. Yeah, but there may be people who are not at town meeting who are still following along who don't have the document with them. So it probably helps to read it out for that reason. Oh, well, that's a good point, Valerie. I wasn't thinking about the people that were watching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so how does it usually get split up in the past? So we'll take uh, the first, let's see. Let me get a, find a pen. So, uh, and we can go down to maybe. Amy, since you're already going to be up there yep. to, to start, you probably should do the first page or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then the second page, um, We have, there's the, the down all the way down to the, probably to the school department, I'm thinking. And then the, so that's the first top part. And then the second part, so there's, so there's five of us. So that's one, two, three. Uh, we could split the first page, so there's there's split in the first page, split in the second page, and someone takes the third page. Okay. How's that? Because yeah. the third is just the third page is Article Nine. Oh, wait a minute, because that is goes to the next. Okay, so why don't we split it up a little bit differently, like just doing. Um, Board of Health. I'm, I'm just trying to make it so it's not too much because it's, it gets a lot when you're standing up there reading. Mm -hmm. You know? Welcome um, to Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. Okay. So I would say So I can give the first speech and I can go down to maybe 146 tax collector. Someone else can maybe start the second person could start on 151 down to um, police. The third person can start from police down to finish schools and, and, and go to all the way to highway department. Highway department can go to down, uh, or let's see, highway department goes all the way down to the next part. It's a, you know, it, uh, I'm just thinking out loud, but jump in anybody if, uh, so someone goes from police down through schools and then the next one would be 422 all the way down to the next, the third page through benefits. And then the next one is article nine, which is the just reading of the motion or the um, water, sewer and cable. Yeah. I can jump in after you, Amy, after you do tax collector, how far down should I go? Uh, you wanna jump down all the way down to police. Wanna do that? Right. So 151 town council down to 210 police? Yeah. Okay. I'll do the next one. 220 to, to where? To, uh, to uh, 422? Is that what you thought? Snow and I, uh, highway? Yeah, I was thinking something like that because I, only because. Or can you, yeah, no, can you actually, because I'm just looking, mm -hmm. maybe go down to police, down to uh, cemeteries. 
lease down to cemetery. So you're 491. Just, okay. Yeah. And yeah. then the next person will start at four to health. I can do whatever. Okay. Paul, what do you want? You want to do the article nine or you want to just, I, I wanted to make a motion that you do the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> do we have that seconded yet? No. I tried to get by the whole thing all together. So, so we literally have to read the salaries, the amounts, mm -hmm. all these columns. Yeah, you read. You have to read white, like wastewater salaries, and you read the amount. Then you read reserve fund and the amount, LT debt, principal and interest, the amount, other expenses, the amount, and total expense, the amount. And that's all. You, and then you get down to the bottom after you finish reading those those numbers, and then you read total right. ex enterprise funds, division expense, and you read the number. Okay. And, and that's what you do. And then at the end of each time we read it, we have to say, Valerie, do you remember? Um, I think it's Mr. No, Mon I don't remember. I, I, oh, Mr. oh, yeah. What is it? I think I'll have to double check it. I think I you say, Mr. Moderator, I moved. To, uh, I wish these to, amounts. I wish to move. What do I say, David? Mr. Moderator, I move these amounts. Oh, that's it? Okay. I, I, I'm i sorry, say again, Mr. Moderator, I move what? These amounts. These amounts. These amounts. <laughs> okay. And we're, and we're only reading the fiscal year 21, correct? Correct. The last column. Okay, and these are all in sync, the two columns, so there's no issue there. <clears throat> Paul, you're, you're reading the enterprise funds? Uh, I got FC budget form. Am I on the right page? Fiscal year 2021. Yep. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm down in the enterprise. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Starts with. Okay. Uh, so, the only trick, so the only trick that you need to be aware of is, is that the, uh, indirect costs you don't read. Indirect costs. So you see wastewater how it's summarized there's an amount should be about nine hundred thousand dollars and change oh what, what item are you guys on article nine uh article nine alexia i think yeah article oh, nine what number is it on the side like oh, in, hold on i gotta drop oh, for just a it's way down at the, the bottom page. after all the numbers in column a what number are you guys at third page of the uh of the four page handout I've got it on my computer and I can't figure out what page I'm on. But uh, in kind of roles, it's Alexi, like one continuous sheet. Yeah. yeah. You go down to the 900 departments, and then just after that, it says Article 9, Motion 9. Motion 9, right. You find it? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Mine just says Series 900 Unclassified. If you scroll down from there, you should run into. Uh, Table B, which would be the enterprise funds. Okay, that's the end. Of the one. So I'm looking at the wrong document. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alexi, you want the one that says, on? you want the one that starts Article 8, Motion 8. It, it's an Excel file that's called FY 2021 FC Budget Form. That's the one. 06-17-20. Oh, okay. Revised COVID nineteen. No. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Got, it. Got it. Thank you very That's much. All right. I, I was there before you. <laughs> Same problem. <laughs> okay. So I think we're all on the right book now, right? Except I never got my numbers for what I'm doing. I think you're doing from police down to um, down to the enterprise fund. Police okay. is like 423 or something? Or? Oh, no, no. I, uh, you're doing police, so. Yeah, you, I'm doing police. So you're the one after police, Alexi. So 510, Board of Health. Okay, starting at Board of Health. Yep. And down to. Oh, that's right, 491. Page, go to the next page and to go cemetery. all the way down to where it says Article 9. So finish the, uh, just finish the benefits. So that would be the, and then you'd give the grand total, uh, the total general fund operating budget. So you're going down to the end. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Thanks. Hey, Amy, I, I assume I assume we're all going to be in the general area, six feet apart. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks, David. I, I only heard part of the meeting yesterday, so if you want to tell us how it's going to work. So we're going to have several tables set up for the select board, for, for the finance committee, town moderator, town administrator, town clerk, town council, uh, six feet of separation, um, and... Um, and uh, and a series of tables uh, front and back, and I I don't think we've assigned seating at this point, but uh, you know we're trying to do this with as much uh, um, daylight between everybody as we possibly can. Okay. Now I don't know if there's going to be a tent, so uh, there's not going to be that many tents. So what we could do is they said we could bring umbrellas. I have a few chair umbrellas too that connect to the chair if anybody wants one. Okay. The other thing is, uh, David, um, I have two tents, like the smaller tents. If that would be helpful, I would be happy to bring them for to for the town to use. If you would, if you'd want to put those in the back of your car and we can size up the situation, that would be great. Okay. It's going to be a warm day that if we start as close to 10 o'clock as possible and move things along. We should be done before the uh, temperature becomes too much. Yeah, it sounded like uh, uh, the chief said. Uh, Human and 90. He mentioned it was going to be overcast. That's what he said. Does that look right? So I was hoping the sun wouldn't be out too strong at first. It'll be a little bit of overcast. Yeah. We're New Englanders. We're tough. We wear buckles on our hats for Pete's sake. Mm -hmm. Oh, David, uh, I see page four. I just happened to be looking. Uh, fun balance information. That's just for us to have. Is that what you said in my email? We don't. We don't uh, no, we're going to. We're actually since this is a question that gets answered every year, we're just going to put it onto the uh, uh, handouts so people have it. Okay. Do you want? I think there might be a couple of blanks in your version, but the final version is. Sorry. My re are we are we are we? Did you want us to read this in the beginning or at the end or just to have it? Or just to, just to have it and tell people that's where it is. Okay. How about the beginning? Do you? I don't remember. Do we read the table one a the uh, the revenues? No, you don't need to read that. Okay. That's that'll be contained within the motion. <clears throat> okay. All right. So where am I reading from? So you've got water, sewer, and Hadley Media, right? Okay. So again, I'm going to say 440 wastewater division. The salaries are 324, 124, um, 10,000, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. So the only tricky. Okay, and then I give the total 931, 709, and we don't we don't say the indirect costs, correct? That's correct, because if you do, then we have to double count that and we blow out the tax rate. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we just ignore that line. And then I'll do wastewater division or the water division, 450, you know, read the numbers total, and I'll do cable. Okay. Yep. So the, the column of numbers you're reading out is which one? Finance recommends? Yes. Yes. I mean, either that or the select board, they're both the same, so. Oh, I see some differences. Do you? Uh, for, yeah, salaries is a different number. And uh, long-term debt is a different number. Yeah, we uh, we fix those. Those typos have been fixed. Uh, I'll find the correct form eventually. I'll provide it to you. Thank you. I'll, I'll have physical handouts for everybody on Saturday morning. Good. In large type. In large type. 
Okay. So, uh, am I, and and David, I, I just because uh, I didn't talk to you first, am I correct? I am going to go through Article 14 and let them know that why that we're passing, but I'll I can mention why we're passing. Yeah. So. Um... So uh, the moderator will say we're going to pass over unless there's uh, objection and you can get up and say this is the reason why okay. not ready for prime time. Okay. All right. So that's easy enough. Um, so we're, I think, does anybody have any questions on? No, it's pretty easy. Okay. So we start at 10 a.m.? Nine. Well, we... Nine. Well, we start the meeting, the town meeting at 10, but you know how we meet uh, prior to uh, the town meeting with the select board, the moderator, in case there's anything else that needs to be brought up. We're posted for 9 a.m. for anything that, you know, and, and, and it's not on the Zoom. We'll meet there. So you just, it's just, we're going to be there early. Are we going to be meeting inside for that part or will we be outside for that part? I believe outside right there in the parking lot. Am I correct, David? You're taking a break. Yeah. Hmm. So David, can you hear me? Well, it's gotta be outside, right? We're not gonna go inside. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, we don't really do a whole lot that hour that we um, meet. We, maybe you should bring, did, is there going to be chairs for everybody or should we bring chairs? There's chairs for everybody. There'll but be chairs for everybody. I think we better bring water. Yep. There's water coffee. for everybody. Coffee. <laughs> There's not coffee for anybody. <laughs> I'm bringing coffee. <laughs> it's the last recreational drug you're allowed. <laughs> uh, dress goods. Can we try to be somewhat presentable? But uh, I wear shorts, sandals, that louder, boat shoes. Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, no, we never really talked about it. But then again, we never had it outside. It'd probably be more presentable if it was indoors at night. It was cooler, but. I run hot and I'm going to be drenched in sweat. I yeah. think, I think you ought to, you know, and you're the one going to stand up there and presenting. You're the one that's out there. So whatever makes you feel comfortable, you know, right. if you're more comfortable in that and you don't want to have sweat marks, you know, go right ahead. It's whatever you feel like you want people to see you at, I guess. Sounds good. I will try to remember to bring bug spray too. Yeah. And a big hat. I've got my big hat. Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> going to be a hell of a uh, annual report about photo next year <laughs> yeah all right what else we got all right so if we're all good with that let's uh have david can you it looks like you have a whole bunch of uh year-end transfers here yes please <laughs> Um, it, I'm guessing you want to just go down the, the, the group of them and explain them and all that great stuff. Oh, and before we, um, just so I don't forget, and you can do it afterwards, David, I did hear on the select board that you had a problem with the 112 budget and uh, you had to resubmit to the state. So I thought you could also tell us um, why, you know, what was the problem and what, what did you need to change and what changes you made? Okay, so the problem is, is that we were one of the very first towns to submit a 112th budget. And you know what happens to people who go first. Mm -hmm. um, they get the extra scrutiny, and, and it turns out their Department of Revenue had all sorts of ideas about what was an uh, eligible cost and what was not an eligible cost, but none of that was in any of the guiding materials. Um, principally, they were concerned about... Um, um, off budget uh, expenses such as overlay, um, uh, offsets for library and for the school department, 
and uh, they did not uh, want to us to include the uh, expenses for school choice and charter. So all of that had to be taken out of the one twelfth budget. And because the amount was substantially different, uh, we had to get uh, the select board to uh, re-vote their submittal of the one twelfth budget. So they took that vote. Uh, if we have town meeting, we, none of this is going to amount to a hill of beans. If, uh, if town meeting does not happen, then we have at least one month of the operating budget to, uh, to uh, get through July, and then we'll have to uh, schedule a town meeting prior to August 1st, or then submit yet another 112th budget for August. And so all these things that you took off, is that gonna be, how are we gonna manage? Is it not a big deal? Um, I'm hoping it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Looks like thunderstorms predicted for Saturday on my phone. That's afternoon. Good. We get to practice our King Lear imitation. Yeah, we'll be holding a metal umbrella during it. Yeah. Or Judy Garland. <laughs> With golf cleats. Yes. We'll just have to move this meeting along real quick. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So the end of year transfers. Um, uh, we have two, four, six, eight, nine transfers that we know about. There may be some scrag uh, ends towards uh, the middle of July. Um, some of these were known, some of these are a bit of a surprise. Uh, just walk through it very briefly. Um, the Board of Health, uh, Board of Select Board clerical salary. Uh, we actually forgot to include that uh, part time and clerical uh, position at the November town meeting. So we're just covering that cost. Uh, the next one is the accounting services. As you know, our accountant uh, went out of business in December, and then with the, the, at short notice, we had to scramble and get another accountant, plus a bridge accountant in between December and, and March. Uh, so the unanticipated cost was an additional $16,000. Um, the election expenses, we had an unplanned for election for the ballot questions in December. Property liability insurance, Which about $20,000 and change. Can you give us the amount to David? You said the yeah. 16000 for the other one, but how much was for the clerical on number one? Uh, $1,209.83. You okay. must have the form in front of you, right? Uh, you have to scroll it was with down. The email. It was one of the forms on the email. Oh. Yeah, one of the forms on this email. Yeah, this one I have. Oh, I was just looking at the uh, the your just your brief, I guess, your email just telling us what the agenda was. I think that's what I was looking at. Sorry. Yeah, this is an email that I sent out. I think it was either yesterday or today. Yeah, it was today, and it says it's called year end line transfer form. Okay, it's all Excel. in there. Okay. David, how come? Going to how come the um, the property liability insurance is so much? The twenty thousand. A uh, couple of couple of reasons. One is that we had more claims than we normally do. Uh, this has to do with vehicles that were damaged. Um, we had several police cruisers that uh, ended up in accidents and mm -hmm. were replaced by insurance, but they uh, upped the premium. But the big driver of this was the Russell School. Um, um, because it's an abandoned, what the insurer considers to be an abandoned vacant yeah, building, yeah. um, that really drove up the price there. Mm -hmm. Even though those, uh, that so, construction company is using it, they're still calling it abandoned. Yeah. For it? insurance purposes, because okay. we're not using the interior. Oh, okay. So I thought we talked about this and, and, and I know this, what you're looking to transfer is past. But are you looking because we had talked about it um, in one of the joint meetings with the select board and Sue got on too and explained a lot because she had experience with um, the um, insurance. Um, 
So I thought we were looking at draw, you know, lowering some of that for Russell School, for French Street, for some of these others. It, we still have liability, but lowering some of um, because it abandoned buildings do cost so much money. Right. So that would be for FY twenty one. These are FY twenty expenses. Yeah, I was just wondering if you're if the plan is you're going to be doing that. So it's going to. Yeah, not... so that's okay. definitely, definitely something that we, I think, I think we, we actually submitted the. Okay. Oh. I can't hear you, David. Need Are 600. Can so I don't know if anybody else I, I can't hear David if he's talking. I can't hear him. Yeah, I'm sorry, the internet connection here is in great. Can you hear me? Barely. Do you want to save this for Saturday morning? Yeah. Sure. That's good. Yes. Sorry, sure? my my home internet, my home router is not behaving tonight. No problem. You just gotta love Zoom. Oh my gosh! I can't wait till this is all over. <laughs> <laughs> when it works, it's great. Yeah. All right. Let's put this off until Saturday morning. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything else then, or do we have a? Does someone want to make a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Anything else? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, David. You're all set. See you Saturday morning. See you Saturday. Thank you all. Bring your own coffee. Absolutely. With bells on. <laughs> all right. Bye. All right.